Hey everyone, it's been a while since I last did the video. Um, this was going to be scripted. I did a full two-page script, but um, even after about 20 takes of trying to record my script, I can't even focus enough to read my own script. I kept losing what I was saying, and the last take, which I got through the most of, um, was about half of that was just me apologizing nonstop, so I'm turned off my laptop and just gonna talk for a bit, I guess. So what I've been wanting for a while now, I've been wanting to talk about um, autism and how that can affect mental health. Um, there's a variety of topics I want to discuss around that, but um, then the world started ending and. So I'm leaving those for now and just going to share how I've been feeling about everything that's been going on right now with the current pandemic. I honestly, I hadn't been doing so great with mental health for a while. That's part of why I haven't done any videos for my very few subscribers that even watch my videos. Um, Yeah, I'd already been struggling a lot with that, and right when I thought that I was going to finally be okay and get everything under control, this all happened, and I have been a complete mess. I have not been doing great at all. I... It's, for me, so far, it's less the isolation and social distancing because I, up until this past weekend, I was still at work. I I work in fast food for anyone wondering and um, it's, so for me the thing that's been bothering me the most is the changes in routine, the uncertainty, the fear of the unknown and the absolute inability to trust anyone because people are terrible and this is the case with every community as far as I can tell but people come back from their vacations to Florida and other places and think oh I don't need to I don't feel sick I can just go and pick up my groceries or go and get fast food I'm not gonna cause any problems because I'm not sick but the thing is it's a 14 day incubation period people can be asymptomatic even after those 14 days and just passing it on to other people and so that gave me a basically a panic attack with every shift last week because can't trust people um, I had people come in and say oh we're not sick do you still want us paying debit instead of cash and yes of course I still want you paying debit I don't want to touch your money you plague rat and And in addition to that, there have been stories the last couple days making me absolutely sure that I made the right choice in choosing to take time off. Um, in Hamilton, just not just an hour or so away from where I live, um, first there was a McDonald's burger that tested positive there in Hamilton, and then someone just the other day spat on a drive through worker at the Tim Hortons, also in Hamilton. I don't know, maybe Hamilton's just a garbage city, maybe everyone's a horrible person. Could be both. Oof, yeah, I... <sighs> it is weird being this upset at people. <laughs> I'm not used to that. I'm... Usually I feel a lot more optimistic than I have been right now. Um, no, everything with all of this, uh, I, I basically reverted back in terms of mental health to where I was before I got the autism diagnosis and this does not, this does not feel right. My routine is a mess. Now I, my class is now online. I don't like that. I don't like the change. It's not what I'm used to and I am now anxious about my marks. Like, it is just the one class. All I needed was the one 
credit for my minor. That was all I had to do this year, and I have been doing so well, and now it's online, and I do not like online courses. I do not learn well that way. I, I have already done one test with the online course thing. It wasn't terrible. I got a decent mark. I already got my mark back. I got that today. The mark was fine. It was around where my marks normally are at, I guess, but it's still a new format and I don't like it. It's the change that is bugging me and that is pretty much probably the case for everyone who is on the spectrum right now is the change. And <sighs> this is why I wanted to have it scripted. I feel like I'm just going in circles, but I couldn't even read my script, so it it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I am sorry that I am a mess with this. I am trying. But no, that's basically always the major issue for me with mental health is the way my brain works. And I know that this is the case for a lot of people who are autistic is the... I'm not trying to speak for everyone, it's just my experience and what I know of what other people have mentioned their experiences being. I know that this is something that is generally common. I'm not saying it's the case for everyone, but it is the case for me and a lot of other people is, um, I just said that five times in a row, didn't I? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just... Mm. The... Something that is definitely an issue in general for people who are autistic, and this is also my experience, is the ability to adapt to change and the need for routine. And this is something that has very, very quickly thrown huge changes into routine and what we are used to. My routine is entirely gone. It is a lot of changes and my brain cannot process this information quickly enough and I have been so good at managing things and not having serious meltdowns and just two weeks ago I had a huge meltdown that lasted for two days. Lots of crying. I felt physically ill from the meltdown and I, it, it's extremely obvious to me right now trying to get this out there. My brain still hasn't fully recovered. I am still not doing well. I know for a fact that I am not doing well. I have reverted to some very unhealthy coping mechanisms. It is starting to affect me physically. I am, I am definitely not okay. And this is definitely the case for everyone, not just autistic people, but autistic people are definitely getting hit very hard right now. And well, everyone is. This is a lot for everyone to adjust to. I'm not trying to downplay anyone's experiences right now and say, oh, autistic people have it worse. We... But generally speaking, we are already at a higher risk for a wide variety of mental illnesses, and this is absolutely not helping the situation at all right now. But no, everyone's mental health is absolutely struggling, right? I'm sure that everyone is absolutely struggling with mental health right now. I know that a lot of my neurotypical friends are currently struggling with a lot to adjust to right now as well, and that is the case whether they already were dealing with mental health issues or not. It's a lot of change really fast and... Yeah. It, we are living in something that is, for a lot of us, very much unprecedented. And no one knows how to adapt. So I guess really all that we can do is check up on each other and be supportive of each other and just absolutely be checking on all of your friends right now. And if you are struggling with 
your mental health, no matter what scenario you are, no matter what your situation is, if you are struggling with mental health right now for any reason and in any capacity, just know that you are not alone and don't be afraid to reach out to friends. This is something that is absolutely awful to be dealing with, but we can definitely get through it together. Just it's okay to not be okay. That is that is something that is absolutely true. And um, I I don't really know what I'm saying. I don't think I'm making much sense right now. I don't feel like I'm making sense to myself even then. It is my own thoughts. So, yeah. We are living through strange times and I think eventually we're all going to be okay. I know that I've gotten through my own mental health issues before and I can do it again. I just have to keep believing that. I think it's going to be fine. I don't really know how to end this now. Um, I don't really know what I was saying for most of this. I am sorry if you sat through this entire absolute mess of a video. It wasn't much better when I was going off my script because I couldn't even read my script. If I had been able to, that probably would have been more, more that probably would have been more coherent. But it's fine. If anything, that was probably an example of just how bad my brain is right now. So yeah, not sure how to end this. Uh, yeah. I think it's going to be okay in the end. I don't think things are going to go back to exactly what they were like before all of this. I hope that they don't because that would basically just leave us open to something like this happening again. Things are just going to continue to change and I'm just going to have to take it one step at a time and hopefully what we will all come out of this having learned is that it is okay to slow down and take time to adapt to change. That's something that shouldn't be rushed because that just leads to people having problems. I don't really know what that sentence was, but it was a sentence. Hopefully the rest of my mental health videos can be more scripted than this. Well, this one was originally scripted, I just couldn't read it. Um, the intent with them, though, is to be le slightly less personal experience, so I do have a lot of personal experience with a lot of what I want to be talking about with those ones. Um, but also a lot more research-based than this. This, of course, is entirely my thoughts and experience and rambles. Um, I already have the first two scripts for my 30 Days of Autism Acceptance 2020 started and finished. I finished the first two. That'll be starting April 1st. Um, so that will be coming soon. I'm going to hopefully actually get through all of them within the actual month of April this year. Uh, given that the world is currently, um, in an interesting state, and I am off work for the time being, I will hopefully get all of those. Well, hopefully I'll be back at work before too, too long. I would love to actually have that sort of normalcy and routine, but we will see. Maybe I'll even get more writing on my book done, too. That would be great if I could do that. Yeah. Not. Well, I guess that's all for now. Um, and we will see what happens. Thank you for watching. I am sorry if this was too rambly for you. And just sorry in general for all of this ramble. But I'm just going to stop apologizing now. <laughs>
thanks for watching and I will hopefully see you in the next video if I haven't completely annoyed you and made you sick of me. And bye!